Strong punch are coming in, and he's hungry. He wants this win. He'll fight whoever you put in front of him. Martial training. Your referee for this contest is Joel Becker. And now, ladies and gentlemen, three rounds scheduled in the super welterweight division. Introducing first, he is fighting out of the red corner. He wears the black with yellow, red, and pink trim. He weighed in at 152 and one half pounds. His record, five victories against five defeats. He represents Pittsburgh Muay Thai from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Dang. Pittsburgh Muay Thai run by Stephen Strautmeyer. Such fighters come out of there. Marcus Fisher, who you see in and the corner. Mark DeLuca. Ben Case. The blue corner. He wears the white with red and yellow trim. He also weighed in at a ready 152 and one half pounds. His record thus far, a perfect one. Five fights, five victories, representing Crum Marshall Training from Rockaway Beach, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Morero. Morero. Mark Marrero trying to preserve his undefeated record here. Favorite fighters include Chris Romulo, Elijah Clark, and me. Huh. Oddly enough, he listed me in there. Right. Great. I don't think that's that odd. That's yeah. a good thing. Good man, good man. Well, I know who I'm going for. Just kidding, folks. Just kidding. Stephen Dang going to come in here. And he is a very experienced fighter trying to get into the winning column. Let's see. This will be an interesting one, man. Like I said, guys, man, it's always exciting to see the, uh, the amateur guys, man, because this is the future of the sport. So, you know, we, we're, we're definitely excited to, to see how this one goes. Absolutely, folks. I agree, Wayne. Pay close attention, folks, because you're going to be seeing these guys on a bigger stage sometime soon. Although this is where everybody starts with these good local shows, such as Battle Rock 2 underway. Stephen Dang in the black shorts. Mark Marrero in the white. Yeah, what I like about Mark already, he's using that, that jab as a reacher. And I always mention that jab, guys, because it, it real, really is under you. So I'm going to always, always identify it. But he's got good movement, good leaning back. He's, he's identifying that his opponent is, is a taller, taller guy. Sometimes just putting that jab out there as a feeler like that, it's a really good weapon. Stepping in, double jabbing his way in, following up with a kick. Steven Got Dang is what they call him. Ooh, nice evasion and kick from Mark Marrero. Mark seems to be an intelligent guy. I can see it in him. Really, his trains hard. Has turned his whole life and put it in at Crown Marshall Training. Really dedicates himself. And the nice. team there inspires him. Great fakes. I mean, he's doing what a lot of guys have to take note to is, you know, you don't have to throw everything. You know, sometimes you set up and you watch what your opponent does. You know, and once you see what they do, how they react, then you go in and you fire that hard shot. Of the two, you can certainly see, Wayne, Mark seems to be a little lighter on his feet, on his toes more. Stephen Dang seeming a bit flat-footed. Yeah. Would you say so? Great. It, it, I mean, it, it's, it's just great seeing it, seeing it so far. You know, just five fights, and, and he looks like a professional in there. Well, when you train with uh, teams at Crown Marshall Training, such as Chris Romulo, you will definitely get that experience. Yeah, man. And, and a lot of guys could take note, too, man. If they give you a 16-foot, 20-foot ring, use the ring, you know? There's no need just to stand in the middle. Look at him. He's using the ring. His guy's got a circle. You know, guys can't set up on a hard shot when you got it, when you turn him. Oh, nice right hand nice. from Mark Marrero coming in. Nice. Mark doing a great job of catching the kicks repeatedly. Uh, Stephen Dang's getting his leg caught up. Yeah, I mean, Dang's, Dang's being relaxed now. You know, I love to see the bounce. I love the bounce that I see here from Mark. Nice. He's eating some kicks. Just relaxing. Nice. Mark Marrero, the more active of the two in that round, but Stephen Dang landing a few low kicks. Seems like Mark being on his toes was able to, to get that distance to step in and land that jab. Yeah. The only thing I saw with Mark is just sometimes he got a, got a little comfortable and was dropping his left. But he, let's see. But he's, he's putting it out there. If, if Dang wants to come with an overhand right, it could change the game. But, you know, Mark's in, Mark's, uh, Mark's in good control right now. Second of three two-minute rounds. Liam Town here and Wayne Barrett joining you at Battle Rock 2. Stephen Dang going for the catch here. Stephen Dang's right no. shin guard looks seems to have shifted. Nice. Yeah. 
I mean, after after winning the WKAs, that does a lot for you. That boosts your ego a lot too, you know. So you know what Mark's doing here is amazing. I love the I love the footwork. I like the bouncing. Nice staying on the inside, relaxing. Nice balance there. Stephen Dank trying yep. to off balance Mark and throw him, but Mark maintaining his balance nicely. Uh, you know, I mean, let's give it up for Stephen too. I mean, listen, listen, he's he's in there now. He's trying to turn it up. He's a, he's a, he's seasoned. He knows now what he's got to do. You know, he's trying to make it into a, in, into more of a rougher fight. Both fighters squaring off once again. As you mentioned before, Wayne, great ring movement by Mark Marrero. Nice footwork. Seems yeah. comfortable where he is. Yeah, it's, it's only his height that's that's keeping him from landing some of these techniques. But this is where he's got to go back to the jab now. Jab to the chest and, you know, not just headhunt. You know, just, just jab to the chest, bring it over. Great great little uh, flick kick there. Nice. See? Set it up. Wow. See what the guy does. Nice. Right yeah. kicks. Ooh. Jumping right knee. Coming out with a slashing left hook. He looks good. He's got to bring that left hand up just a little. Just in case, it, you know, if he fights a guy that is a, that is a puncher. Nice balance from Mark. Missing and then turns right around. But you see what he's doing here to Dang, guys, is he, he keeps him turning. And, and that, that allows for, for Dang not to be able to, to, to load up on anything. Third and final two-minute round coming up here at Battle Rock 2. We've got Mark Marrero in the blue gloves versus Stephen Dang in the red. Stephen Dang coming out of Pittsburgh Muay Thai. Mark Marrero of Crom Marshall Training. Here we go, folks. Mark landing kicks from the outside nicely. Yeah, Mark's got to put that jab to his chest. You know, he's, he's, he's trying to get to the head, but he's not going to be able to. That jab to the chest right now would, would uh, just keep Dang off of him just a little bit. Just enough to dissuade him from yeah. coming in, Wayne? Yeah. So he's, he's hooking, but that jab right to the chest would do really good. But his footwork is phenomenal. He's, uh, he, he's definitely a cut above when it comes on to movement. And he does look like he's got far more than the five fights of a series. Looking low, faking, and then going high with the kick, yeah. trying to fake out Stephen Dang. He's an educated fighter. He's, he's, uh, he's, he's got really good good ring, ring generalship. Yeah. Ooh, Stephen Dang with a one-two. Dang's just waiting, and this is where being two seasoned can get into the, can get into the way of you, you being a better fighter. You're so seasoned, and you're so, you're so good at getting that one technique. You hesitate, you know? You never want to lose that amateur rawness that you have, which is if you see the opening, go get it. Right. You know, don't don't hesitate. Don't be so perfect and so clean that you don't want to go ahead and get the kill. I suppose you can't make perfection the enemy of progress here. Mm, another quote. <laughs> <laughs> We're cheating here, folks. We got a dictionary. We're just looking these up. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Mark Murrow landing those knees in the clinch, staying busy. And I know for a fact both of these gyms put a large emphasis on the clinch in their training. And we yeah. see that working here. See, Dang's, Dang's defense is just open down the middle. You know, that jab to the, to the, uh, to the chest right there, right in his diaphragm will change this game for, for Mark a lot. See, Mark's looking. He wants it. But I think he's just, he's just a little... Uh, you know, he's just a little weary of the hands of Dang. Out of here for both of these fighters. Absolutely, a round of applause three deserved judges, by both. 30, 27, your winner by unanimous decision. He's still undefeated. He's representing Crown Marshall Training from Rockaway Beach, New York. Mark Marrero's Anthony face there telling the story of how it feels to be Marrero. an undefeated fighter and how much each win matters. Stephen Dang, though, an excellent show in there. Hopefully we see these two again.